Hi everyone. For those who don't know me, my name is Dr. Becca Leung and I'm a board certified veterinary nutritionist. We have two board certified veterinary nutritionists on our team at VNG, myself and Meredith. But what does the title actually mean? We often get confused with an animal or pet nutritionist, but we're actually not the same thing. So how are we different and what can we bring to the table? It can be really confusing all these names, but let's start with an animal or pet nutritionist. This is someone who has completed a degree or diploma in this field. These programs can be offered by anyone and we've seen it all. There are degrees being offered by qualified and unfortunately sometimes unqualified individuals who create their own online courses. But it can also range all the way to really established four-year programs by universities. Generally, an animal nutritionist learns how to formulate and create diets to meet the nutritional requirements of animals, with a focus on optimizing health and minimizing disease risk. But because there's such a wide range in the training and because the profession is unregulated, there really can be varying levels of degrees of skills that ultimately come out of it. On the other hand, the profession of veterinary nutritionist is very regulated. We are animal nutritionists as well, but in order to call yourself a veterinary nutritionist, you first have to undergo very strict training program. A good analogy is in the human field. There are human nutritionists which undergo various level of degrees of training, but to be called a dietitian, that means that a person has undergone a specific training program to be able to call themselves that at the end of it. As a veterinary nutritionist, we are veterinarians first. We love animals and we have chosen to focus our career and really our entire life into taking care of them. Getting into and completing veterinary school is already an epic journey. And at the end of it, we are doctors. At this point, you can already start working as a veterinarian. But for some, we decide we want to further specialize in a particular area. And for me, that was nutrition. I decided to specialize in nutrition because I found it really interesting. I've always loved cooking and eating and was always fascinated about how the food we put in our body dictates fundamentally everything. How we grow, how we function, how we develop, how we prevent disease, everything. So I wanted to learn more and dedicate myself into this field specifically. Now, when a vet decides they want to become a veterinary nutritionist, they have to then get into a very competitive residency program that will last another two to four years, depending on the program. During our residency training, we work in university veterinary hospitals and take care of both healthy and sick patients with their nutritional needs. The experience we get during our residency is an important part of building our knowledge base. And during our time there, we get to see hundreds of patients. We spend countless hours in the hospital, working with other specialists, speaking with pet parents, and training veterinary students in addition to making diets and literally hand feeding the sickest of patients, trying to give them as much nutritional support as possible. Another big part of the residency program is that we're obliged to participate in research and publish a peer reviewed research project into a scientific journal. Some of us can actually go on to get additional research experience by going through a master's or PhD program, which is what I chose to do. The veterinary degree is already a science degree but this further experience in research teaches us how to be better scientists, which is fundamentally really important. So after clocking the needed number of hours and seeing the needed number of cases and ticking many, many boxes, we're finally allowed to sit the board examination at the end of our residency program. If we pass this massive multi-day event, only then can you call yourself a board certified veterinary nutritionist and you become part of a college. Now, it's not a college per se in the traditional sense of a university, but rather we are members of an organized group of professionals. The college that Meredith and I are part of is called the American College of Veterinary Internal Medicine. There are only two colleges for veterinary nutritionists in the entire world, the American College and the European College, which is called the European College of Veterinary and Comparative Nutrition. Being part of these colleges is truly a privilege and a responsibility. We worked our butts off to get to that point, and then once we're in, we're constantly being held accountable by our peers. 
we have to uphold a level of standards that are set by the college and show that we're continuing our education. Now, this is important because it makes sure that even, even though we've received our qualification, we're still keeping up to, up to date with the science. Becoming a veterinary specialist is a lifelong decision that we make to dedicate ourselves to the field. And there are currently only three board certified veterinary nutritionists in Australia, which is Meredith, myself, and Scott Campbell in Queensland. So hopefully that explains a bit what the difference is between a veterinary nutritionist and an animal or pet nutritionist. Now we're not saying that one is necessarily better than the other, as there is 100% a need for both veterinary nutritionists and animal nutritionists in this world. There's a seat at the table for both of us. As veterinary nutritionists though, who've gone through a residency training program, we just bring a different particular set of skills and experiences to everything that we do. So thanks so much everyone. I hope you found that interesting and helpful. If you would like to find out more about this topic or other ones, please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time.